Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. I'm currently in London getting ready for the London Open, Gi and No Gi. So today I just wanted to kind of talk about competition mindset. And I, I think I've touched on this topic a little bit before in other videos, but you know, it never hurts to just kind of rehash something or, you know, just revisit something like this. Um, so I think, you know, as far as just mindset for competing, um, you know, there's just, just so much out there, you know, there's so many, you're going to get so much advice, especially if you do your first tournament, you're competing the first time. Um, it, it can be a lot. It can be overwhelming. I, I remember being a white belt in my first tournament. Um, my instructors were, you know, kind of old school. They were, they were like, man, you, you can't pull guard. You, you got to go for a takedowns. Don't never pull guard. Um, but I, I didn't know any takedowns, so I have some friends that watched the match, uh, my first match, and it was, it was just me kind of running around. I, I didn't know what to do. I was just running around like a person, so <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, but going back to the topic, just competition mindset, I think, you know, competing scary. You know, um, it doesn't matter what belt level you're at, you know, white belt, blue belt, purple, brown, black. It's it's just that fear of the unknown. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know who the other person is. You don't you don't know if you're gonna be you, you know that day is gonna be your day or maybe you're, you're gonna be off that day. There's just so many factors that you can't control. Um, but your mindset is one one thing you can you can always control. That's something that that's in your power. And what I mean, what I mean about mindset is just how you go into your matches, how you view the tournament. I, I see people compete, you know, some people reluctantly compete because their instructor kind of pushed them, pushed them to do it or, you know, everyone kind of ganged up on them to do it. It was like peer pressure. Um, I've also seen people that were self-motivated to go and compete and better themselves. I think... Um, uh, you know, it really depends on the person. You know, some people are motivated by, you know, accomplishments and, you know, they have that in, inner drive. While other people, you know, it doesn't matter how talented they are or not, they have to be pushed to go and, and compete. But uh, I think, you know, you have to look at the competition as a learning learning experience. And that's, that's all it is at the end of the day. You know, you're not competing for professionally... Maybe you are, but if you're not, that's fine. You're not. It's not your job to go and compete. You're doing it for fun. You know, your life's not depending on you winning the tournament. Um, so I think that's kind of something I, I try to tell people. I try to always relate to, to the person like, man, go out there and enjoy the experience. You know, the anxiety of, you know, the match. You know, you're going to be nervous and getting over your nerves and making weight and having to, you know, put your heart out there uh it just you know you're man it's just so much to competing I, it's hard to break it down in one little video i, I just kind of want to just touch up on it because i have you know i compete i have students that compete i have friends that compete and i, I think your mindset really really determines how you do um out there and it does when i when i talk about your mindset again it, you can't control the results when you compete. You know, sometimes you're you're on fire, you do really well. Sometimes it's not your day, but how you experience it and how you view that experience is is really important. You know, if you win or lose, but you you still learn from the experience, you're gonna grow. But if you shy away from the challenge, or you know, some guys that are really talented, they 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 kind of it's too easy. You know, oh, it's easy. I'm gonna do something else. So I, I think just your mindset when you approach tournaments is really important. For me, I don't really feel like I have anything to prove anymore, but I just kind of go out there. I just want to get better for myself. I want to get better at jiu-jitsu. And it, it's, it's, uh, it's helped me to have, you know, mentors and instructors like Cabrinha and Lucas Lepre and Leo Noguera and many others that, you know, they're still competing. They're in their, you know, you know late 20s, early 30s late 30s still competing so I, I just feel that like that's the inspiration you can always get better you can always improve your technique you can always push yourself um, if you so if you want to do a tournament that sh should be kind of a motivating factor for you you want to get better you want to push yourself 
Um, I like the, the analogy of the tournament being like, you guys know, like the hyperbolic time cham chamber in Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's, it's the exact same thing. So when you go and compete, especially when you're a beginner or a new person, it's like you got three months of training in one, one match. So you can really use the tournaments to improve yourself and get better. But your mindset has to be right. You have to go out there, you know, trying to learn from the, your experience and trying to and grow from that experience. You shouldn't be going out there, you know, scared to lose. I see a lot of people, especially higher belts, they go and compete in there. They might even be really good, but they're they're scared to lose. They have they've already achieved so much. They can't they can't lose to someone else. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's it's not that big of a deal. You know, I've lost a lot, and you know it hurts at the time. And sometimes you know you feel really down, and you know some people even cry. Uh, but you know what? Once you get over the experience of the tournament, you know once you're you know once you're going back home or whatever what you know going wherever you have to go and you have time to reflect on the experience um you sh there should always be something you can learn from what happened you, even if you did really well say you submitted everybody there's always there's always something you could do to get better or say you got tapped in your first match or you lost on points or something you can always there's always some little thing you can work on to get better so uh, that's just something i want to impress upon you guys is use competitions to improve yourself uh, and that's all we can do just learn from your experiences and get better guys try to work to get better develop better technique better timing uh, so hopefully this guys this video helps um, also I just want to do a shout out for my friend Chris Moriarty for you guys that don't know Chris he's a very talented black belt he you know was my teacher for a long time and friend um, he's a physician down in uh, Miami. Uh, he's a, uh, what is it, physical re uh, medicine and rehabil re rehabil uh, rehabilitation um, at the University of Miami, Miami Jackson uh, Memorial Hospital. Um, so Chris, he's, you know, he's a really good black belt, competed a lot, and then he became a physician. Um, so he, he uh, created a little survey for you guys. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add it in the description below, and it's just like 10 to 15 minutes long. Um, the survey is just used to help uh, just create more awareness for uh, just you know physicians and medical staff about the injury rates in jujitsu. Um, I've been injured a lot in jujitsu, and you know if you train long enough, you're gonna get injuries, either minor or major. So the more well trained. Uh, me medical staff are on our sport the better treatment we're going to receive you know some doctors they don't know what jiu-jitsu is so they, they kind of treat it like other sports but there's a lot of things that we do that you know you, you put your body in really compromising positions you know your shoulder your knees your fingers you know a lot of your body parts that uh, you injure in jiu-jitsu that you won't really get injured the same way in other sports so um we just want to do this survey just to create more awareness so uh, doctors and you know nurses and physical therapists and orthopedic doctors like they can all uh, learn more about how to better treat us so again guys please check out the link below i did it and i know a few of my friends already did it so the more data that we that chris gets the the better um it's going to be over for overall for everyone in the long run so please check out that link and please take the time to go fill that out uh, and that's it guys. Until next time. Ciao.